manifests through three major rays and four minor rays. The monad or microcosm likewise manifests through three rays as mentioned in the text above. All rays express a peculiar and specialized type of force. Triad. This is literally Adma Buddhi Manas, the expression of the monad, just as the personality is the expression of the ego. The monad expresses itself through the triad, and in its lowest or third aspect forms the egoic or causal body, the infant or germinal ego. Similarly, the ego expresses itself through the threefold lower man, mental, emotional, and etheric these being the reflection of the higher triad, and these three give rise to the dense physical manifestation. 69. 78 -e -e of memory. These atoms are in direct connection with one or other of the three great rays in connection with the microcosm. A. B. C. The monodic ray, the synthetic ray of the microcosm. The egoic ray. The personality ray. Each of these rays has a connection with one or other of the permanent atoms in the lower threefold man, and has a direct action upon the spirilli 27 found within the atom. We have noted in Letters on Occult Meditation that the atoms of the lower threefold man underwent a twofold process. They were first vivified in rotation, and each held the light in ordered sequence until the lower triangle was entirely illumined. Eventually transmutation took place, or to word it otherwise, the polarization eventually shifted into the three permanent atoms of the triad, and out of the three permanent atoms of the lower triangle. The physical permanent atom is transcended and the polarization becomes manasic or mental, the astral permanent atom is transcended and the polarization becomes buddhic, while the mental unit is superseded by the permanent. 27 Spirilla in order to examine the construction of the atom, a space is artificially made, then, if an opening be made in the wall thus constructed, the surrounding force flows in, and three worlds immediately appear, surrounding the hole, with their triple spiral of two and a half coils, and returning to their origin by a spiral. Within the atom these are at once followed by seven finer worlds, which following the spiral of the first three on the outer surface and returning to their origin by a spiral within that, flowing in the opposite direction form a caduceus with the first three. Each of the three coarser worlds, flattened out, makes a closed circle each of the seven finer ones, similarly flattened out, makes a closed circle. The forces which flow in them, again, come from outside, from a fourth dimensional space. Each of the finer worlds is formed of seven yet finer ones, set successively at right angles to each other, each finer than its predecessor, these we call spirilli. Each spirilla is animated by the life force of a plane, and four are at present normally active, one for each round. Their activity in an individual may be prematurely forced by yoga practice. Occult Chemistry, T. 28. T-H-E-P-E-R-S-O-N-A-L-I-T-Y-R-A-Y. -E -E 71. Atom, of the fifth plane, the Atmic. This is all brought about by the action of the three rays upon the atoms and upon the life within each atom. The relationship between these three rays and the permanent atoms might be summarized as follows. The personality ray has direct action upon the physical permanent atom. 
Heliogoic ray has a similar action upon the ASCO permanent atom. The monotic ray has a close connection with the mental unit. The effect which they have is threefold, but is not simultaneous. They work ever, as do all things in nature, in ordered cycles. The stimulation, for instance, that is the result of the action of the monotic ray upon the mental unit is only felt when the aspirant treads the path, or after he has taken the first initiation. The action of the egoic ray upon the astral permanent atom is felt as soon as the ego can make good connection with the physical brain. When this is so the egoic ray is beginning to affect the atom powerfully and continuously, this occurs when a man is highly evolved and is nearing the path. This threefold force is felt in the following way, first, it plays upon the wall of the atom as an external force and affects its rotary and vibratory action. Second, it stimulates the inner fire of the atom and causes its light to shine with increasing brilliancy. Third, it works upon the spirilli, and brings them all gradually into play. Two, the personality ray and the permanent atom. The personality ray deals with the first four spirilli, and is the source of their stimulation. Note here. P. 72 A T R E A T I S E O N C O S M I C F I R E. Correspondence to the lower quaternary and its stimulation by the ego. The ego of Ray concerns itself with the fifth spirilla and with the sixth, and is the cause of their emerging from latency and potentiality into power and activity. The monotic ray is the source of the stimulation of the seventh spirilla. There is great interest attached to this subject and wide reaches of thought and vast fields for investigation open up before the earnest student. This threefold action varies in point of time and sequence according to the ray itself upon which the monad may be found, but the subject is too vast to be handled as this. Time. In looking at the matter from the standpoint of fire the idea may be grasped a little through the realization that the latent fire of matter in the atom is brought into brilliance and usefulness by the action of the personality ray which merges with this fire and stands in the same position to the permanent atom in the microcosm as FOHAT does on the cosmic plane. The fire is there hidden within the sphere, whether the sphere systemic or the sphere atomic, and the personality ray in the one case, and Fohad in the other, acts as the force which brings latency into activity and potentiality into demonstrated power. This correspondence should be thought out with care and judgment. Just as Fohad has to do with active manifestation or objectivity, so the personality ray has to do with the third, or activity aspect in the microcosm. The work of the third aspect logoic was the arranging of the matter of the system so that eventually it could be built into form through the power of the second aspect. Thus the correspondence works out. By life upon the physical plane, that life wherein the physical permanent atom has its full demonstration, the matter is arranged and separated that must eventually be built into the Temple of Solomon, the egoic body, through the agency of the egoic life, the second. T-H-E-P-E-R-S-O-N-A-L-I-T-Y-R-A-Y. 73. Aspect. In the quarry of the personal life are the stones prepared for the great temple. In existence upon the physical plane and in the objective personal life is that experience gained which demonstrates as faculty in the ego. 
What is here suggested would richly repay our closest attention, and open up the forest reaches of ideas, which should eventuate in a wiser comprehension, a sounder judgment, and a greater encouragement to action. 3. The Personality Ray Ankar M.A. It might be wise here to recapitulate a little so that in the refreshing of the memory may come the basis of further knowledge. We dealt first with the three fires of the system, macrocosmic and microcosmic, and having laid down certain hypotheses we passed to the consideration of the first of the fires, that which is inherent in matter. Having studied it somewhat in its threefold manifestation in the various parts of the system, including man, we took up the matter of the personality ray and its relationship to this third fire. We must recall here that all that has been dealt with has been in relation to matter, and for the whole of this first section this thought must be borne carefully in mind. In our second section we will consider all from the standpoint of mind, and in the final from the standpoint of the Divine Ray. Here we are dealing with what HPV calls the Primordial Ray and its manifestations in matter.28 All these rays of cosmic mind, primordial activity, and divine love wisdom are but essential quality demonstrating for the agency of some one factor. The primordial ray is the quality of motion, demonstrating through matter. 28 CS, D, e, I, 108, 2, 596. 74 ATREATISEONCOSMICFIRE. -E. The ray of mind is the quality of intelligent organization, demonstrating true forms, which are the product of motion and matter. The ray of love wisdom is the quality of basic motive that utilizes the intelligent organization of matter in motion to demonstrate in one synthetic whole the great love aspect of the logos. Point two nine. This line of thought can be worked out also correspondingly in the microcosm, and will show how individual man is engaged in the same type of work on a lesser scale as the solar logos. At this point in the treatise we are confining our attention to the ray of active matter, or to that latent heat and substance which underlies its activity and is the cause of its motion. If we think with sincerity and with clarity we will see how closely therefore the lithical lords or the lords of karma are associated with this work. Three of them are closely connected with karma as it concerns one or other of the three great rays, or the three fires while the fourth political lord synthesizes the work of his three brothers and attends to the uniform blending and merging of the three fires. On our planet, the Earth, they find their points of contact through the three Buddhas of activity, 30 the correspondence should be noted here, and the fourth Kumara, the Lord of the World. Therefore, we arrive at the realization that the personality ray, in its relation to the fire of matter, is directly influenced and adjusted in its working by one of the Buddhas of activity. 29 S. D. I. 99. 108. 2. 596. 30 inches Buddhas of activity. The Pratyeka Buddhas. This is a degree which belongs exclusively to the Yogacharya school, yet it is only one of high intellectual development with no true spirituality. It is one of the three paths to Nirvana, and the lowest, in which a yogi, without teacher and without saving others, by the mere force of will and technical observances, attains to a kind of nominal buddhahood individually.
Theosophical Glossary. T-H-E-P-E-R-S-O-N-A-L-I-